Hello and welcome back. This is part two to learn and master note reading, especially for grade one beginners. So this is for, you don't know anything about note reading and you're just learning it now. So in part one, we went over the basics of how to identify the notes on the staff. Actually, the first thing we did was we learned uh, from here to here, we learned from A to G, learn all the names of all the notes on the keyboard and we sort of had a little drill on the names of the notes on the keyboard so you need to learn that first then we had what well, we learned the treble and the bass clef line notes and space notes and named them going forwards and back and then I had a little exercise for those a line note exercise which we did hands alone and a space notes exercise which we also did hands alone. So these exercises help to reinforce what you've learned with actual finger exercises at the keyboard. Now in part two, in this video we're going to mix things up a little bit and we are going to uh, do a special system of naming notes and we're going to start using the metronome on that so you get to also learn how to use a metronome at the same time. So this is one more one more instance where we're we're so to speak killing two birds with one stone. We're doing two things at once. Let's look at the treble clef first. That is the line on the top. And we have we have a series of notes here, 12 notes. They're all line notes. So remember, we have E. The, let's review the line note names. We have E, G, B, D, F. 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 Now we're going to mix it up a little bit. I put these notes in no special order, just sort of mix them up. And it's not important right now to which finger you're going to play on the notes but we're just going to simply name the notes. So, so let's start with number one. So we have E. So I want you to play that E with your index finger, your second finger of your right hand. Now name the next note. Okay, we named it. It's B. Name the next note. D. Good. Name the next note. G. Good, name the next note. F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Now, let's say the notes without playing them. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Now we're going to get to the fun part here. I have my handy metronome. I have a metronome app on my phone. And I'm going to put it on the speed of 42 beats per minute. A nice slow speed here. So now let's say, you're going to say the note names in the treble clef. Try to say it exactly for each one of these clicks. Ready, go. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, T, E, G. Good. So try that on your own. And of course, you do not want to write in letters. If you, if you have this printed out, or if you took a screenshot and printed it out, do not write the letters on there. That's cheating. You want to always be able to do it without writing the letters on the notes. So let's now put the metronome a little faster at 48. This is a special 
uh, tempo, uh, special tempo system I have here that all these numbers BPM is beats per minute and it, it goes up a sequence of increasing speeds. <clears throat> now we're going to put it on 48 say the names of the notes at 48 now. Ready, go. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Good. I hope you were able to do that. If that's easy, step it up to 54. So I'm going to put it on 54. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Good. Now we're going to step it up to 63. If any of these is hard, you need to work on it first before you go to the faster speed. Make sure you, you master one speed before going on to the next speed. So now we're on 63. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Good. Now let's go on to the next speed, which is 72. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Good. Now we're going to go on to the next speed, 84. So we have E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. You really have to start thinking fast now in these faster speeds. Now we're going to step it up to 96. Ready, go. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Good. If you did that, congratulations. It's getting harder. It's getting even harder for me. So, we're going to put it on 108. E, B, D, G, F, D, E, B, G, D, E, G. Good. If that's easy, then you step it up to 126. And then, if you're really good, go up to 144. You can even go faster than that, but I'll stop at 144 for this series. Now, let's say that it gets really easy. If you do it a bunch of times, you, you sort of memorize the letter names. So you're, you're sort of cheating in a way. It's not really sight reading anymore. Then simply do it backwards. <laughs> okay. Now let's try to go from, I'm just going to take a middle speed like 72. And we're going to read from 12 to 1 in the treble clef. So here we go. 72. We're going backwards. G, E, D, G, B, E, D, F, G, D, D, E. Good. So another thing you can do is to really mix it up and really make sure you know the notes well is go forwards, then read them backwards. Very good technique to use. Now we're going to move to the bass clef. And uh, we're going to start with the very slowest here. We're going to start with 42. And we're going to start with number one in uh, the bass clef here. The first note is an F. See where those two dots are by the bass clef? That's, those dots are by the F line. So we start with F here. So let's say the note names and the bass clef. Ready? Go. F, G, B, A, D, F, A, D, F, G, B, A. 
and then keep stepping it up. I'll, just to save time, I'll go up to a faster one. Let's go to 96. But remember, you need to go do it progressively. Up, you can't go, you can't skip tempi on the metronome. You have to go from one to the next in this series I have. So let's do 96. F, G, B, A, D, F, A, D, F, G, B, A. Now let's do the left hand, the, the bass clef, backwards from 12 to 1. 1, 2, ready, go. A, B, G, F, D, A, F, D, A, B, G, F. So your eye needs to be moving very quickly. You see one, you see it, name it, see it, name it. Your eye is moving very quickly to the next one. That's your, the development of your music reading skills, which will also increase your sight reading ability. Now we're going to do something, uh, and this, this gets a little difficult now, okay? And for some people it might be easy, for some it might be a little difficult. But we've learned you focused on just the line notes by themselves and the space notes. We haven't done the space note exercises yet. But you learn the line notes by themselves in the treble clef and the bass clef. What we just did by themselves. Now we're going to do them both together. We're not going to play them together, but we're going to name them. So we're going to name what we're going to do, we're going to say the letter names with the metronome like we did, but we're going to first do the bass note, then the treble note. So we're going to do the bottom note, top note on one, bottom note, top note on two, bottom note, top note on three, so forth, all the way to twelve. We're going to start, um, you want to start with forty-two. Okay, but just to save time, um, I'll go to, let's do 72 again, sort of a middle ground speed of 72. <clears throat> so remember, bottom note, top note, bottom note, top note, okay? F, E, G, B, B, D, A, G, D, F, F, D, A, E, D, B, F, G, G, D, B, E, A, G. The reason why we're doing it from bottom to top is you want to train yourself always to look first at the bottom because that is the foundation of music. Chords are built on bass notes. So you want to get in the habit of saying the notes from the bottom to the top, not from the top to the bottom. Always go from bottom to top. Now, let's, do, let's challenge ourselves a little bit. Let's say you're able to do that well easily at 72. Let's say you just did it easily at 84. Now we're going to go up to 96. We put it on 96. We're going to do the same thing. Bottom note, top note, from 1 to 12. F, E, G, B, B, D, A, G, D, F, F, D, A, E, D, B, F, G, G, D, B, E, A, G. All right. Okay, let's challenge ourselves a little bit. Let's go backwards from 12 to 1. Bass note, top note, bottom to top, 12 to 1. Ready, go. A, G, B, E, G, T, F, G, D, B, A, E, F, D, D, F, A, G, B, D, G, B, F, E. This is, now, I can do it pretty easily at this speed, but I can feel that just, you know, just a little faster, it's, it'll be, even for me, it will be challenging. So this is something that you might have to work on. Uh, work on it at the slower speeds. And once again, I'm going to say this. I always say this. 
Never skip metronome speeds. Only go to the next one if you can do the previous one easily. So you need to really work on naming the notes first by themselves, separately, first treble clef, then the bass clef, forwards, backwards, just to mix it up a little bit. Then you need to do them at the same time, which is bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. And you need to do that as fast as you can. The goal here is speed and consistency. The goal is to do it to learn these notes as fast as you can possibly learn them because that will increase your sight reading skills. Ultimately, you can only sight read as fast as you can process the notes. So this is the very fundamental aspect of, of um, note reading or sight reading in that you need to instantaneously know what that note is. And so that's why this exercise is very important for you. Okay, so this is the end of part two. And uh, stay tuned for part three, and we will continue on these line notes here, the same line we've been working on here in this video. But we're going to do something a little different. We're going to learn about intervals, and we're going to actually play the notes, finally. We're going to play them on, on the piano, and I'll explain about fingering. So stay tuned for that.